challenging limiting beliefs. How to identify your limiting beliefs and get rid of them once and for all. <laughs> Beliefs are like hammer. You know, they have the power to build and also they have the power to destroy. Therefore, limiting beliefs have more of a destructive power and impact on our life than any other factor. And we all have numerous limiting beliefs. They come from a variety of sources as well as from our own interpretation of the world around us. And as soon as we are out of our mother womb, we start learning from our surroundings. But sometimes we learn things that are not accurate. I mean, the good news is that we can get rid of our limiting beliefs and replace them with a belief that empower us. So what is limiting belief? I mean, limiting belief is one that causes us to be less productive and stopping us to enjoy the potential of life. Identifying your limiting beliefs. You know, to change anything, you must first identify it. And it is also important to stay relevant. You know, we all have tons of limiting beliefs, but the truth is that many of them are irrelevant only worry about the limiting beliefs that are going to have the greatest impact in your life. And when you have dealt with those, you can deal with the rest. And part of being successful is focusing on the most important issues in your life. Here, how we can identify our limiting beliefs. Make a list of the area in your life where you feel challenged. And if you have an area of your life that displeases you and you are not actively doing something to repair it, then it is pretty good bad that you have a limiting belief in there. Your behavior is an indicator of your beliefs. Consider how you are doing in this following area. Finance. Are you feeling financial pressure in your life right now? Do you have all the things you need or you really want? How much money do you have in your savings? Do you have the income you desire? Is that income you secure? Relationship. Are your relationships satisfying? Consider your intimate relationship as well as your relationship with your family, your friends, and also co-worker in terms of health. Are you taking good care of yourself? How is your how is your weight? Do you go to the doctor regularly to for checkup? Fun and adventure. Are you doing the thing you really want to do? Do you dream of going overseas but you haven't been yet? Do you want to learn to play, let's say the guitar, but you never have? Think about any other area of your life where you are less than satisfied. And if you are not pleased with your life, a limiting belief could be the cause. Identify the beliefs that are contributing to your challenges. Take a note, make a list of all your beliefs, good or bad, regarding the challenges you have identified, identified early on. Don't attempt to filter them as a positive or negative while carrying on out this process. Just get them all this as you brainstorm and examine them later, yeah? So to help you, right, here is a short example. I will never be wealthy. Rich people are dishonest. I will never have enough money to have a nice house. If I'm rich, people will try to steal from me. My friends will treat me differently if I have a lot of money. Money is the root cause of evil. You see, if that is your language, can you see why it would be difficult to make a lot of money if you believe this thing? Now, identify the beliefs that are holding you back. 
think about which beliefs are having the greatest negative impact on your life. And one way to do this is to consider how your behavior will change if that belief were eliminated from your life. Don't just guess which beliefs are the most damaging. Genuinely examine them and consider the changes that your life would experience if you weren't held back by that belief. So, put those negative beliefs in order. You know, start with the limiting belief that you feel is creating the most challenge in your life. Put them all in order from the belief having the greatest negative at the top to the least at the bottom. And it makes sense to spend your time where it is going to do the most good. Prioritizing your time is always a valuable strategy. Now that you have a list of your limiting beliefs and have them in order, it is time to start dealing with them. So, how to eliminate a limiting belief? You know, follow this process to get rid of the limiting belief that you have. You know, first and foremost, read the belief out loud and ask yourself, do I really know that is true? Have you experienced this yourself enough time to be confident that it's true? Remember, you cannot accurately draw conclusions from a limited number of experience. Do you really know that this belief is true without any shadow of doubt? If no, question it. Where did you come up with this belief? For example, did your limiting belief about money come from your parents? Were your parents were your parents wealthy? If they weren't, then they are not a reliable source of information. You know, after all, an expert on money would be able to have a lot of it, right? If someone has not had a lot of money, then they don't really know how to accumulate it or what it means to have it. You know, consider whether or not the source of your belief is a valid source. Your belief should come from your own personal experience and from the advice of experts. Simple. So, rely on experts. Simple. State to yourself. I choose not to believe this anymore. It is not true. Stating your attention has a profound effect. Look for supporting evidence though. Find some reason and example why this limiting belief is false. For example, the person that told me this really doesn't know it. I have never actually tried myself. I have seen others that are less capable than me be successful at this. At the very least, you should feel a sense of doubt about that limiting belief. If you don't, then keep coming up with more reason. So create a new belief that serves you. This will be opposite of the limiting belief or at least something along those lines. Create a belief that will improve your life and support your ability to take action to make your life better. Find an example to support this new belief. And any belief will be more stable if it has supporting information and evidence. Really, try to prove that it's true. Imagine that you had to prove to someone else that your new belief is accurate. That should get you where you need to be. Right? So next, measure yourself each day. Audit yourself. How do you feel about your new belief? Ask yourself this question. How do you feel about your old belief? You can also ask yourself this question. Trust your gut instinct. It is a direct link to your subconscious. Is your behavior changing? If your belief change the way you act, and feel will change too. Our lives and feeling are manifestation of our belief. If your beliefs have really changed, 
your life will also change. Trust me. So go back to your list of limiting beliefs. Keep working on your list of negative beliefs. Walk through those items and continue to add new items to your list. You will find that you will discover new limiting beliefs as you start making progress in your life. As you experience new things, new limiting belief will show up. <laughs> These are the beliefs that you don't know you had until this point. As you set new goals, new challenges will present themselves too. As you learn and experience more, your objective change, so the limiting belief you have will also change. You know, maybe you will decide that, you know, five years from now, you want to be an engineer. And any limiting belief you have about being an engineer, would then have the would then have to be addressed. Continue examining your life for limiting beliefs and eliminating them. It is like pulling a weed. No matter what you do, some weed will always crop over time, here or there. Simply recognize them and get rid of them, and you move forward. Repeat all the above steps on a regular basis, and as you said, new goals or you have new challenges in your life, repeat the process again. Sit down once a week and make a new list of your limiting belief and you will be unstoppable, trust me. You know sometimes, all it takes to change your life is to decide which belief do not serve you and to literally change your mind about those beliefs forever. Right, so I hope you find this video very useful. And if so, just hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, not to miss the great coaching videos that I'm putting out, please hit the subscribe button. And what do you think about that? What limiting belief do you have? Or what limiting belief that your friend have and then they make excuses? Please use the comment box below. And if you have a limiting belief and then you deal with it, Please also let us know in the comment box below. We are eager to listen, to hear, or other words to read from you. Thank you very much, my friend. As always, for me, and only love and peace, and God bless you. And I catch you in my next video. Basically, I'm not going to see you, but you can see me, and then I'll talk to you. So, yeah, blessing to you guys. Love and peace. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>